from the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> Today we're here to welcome Catherine Ortega as our new United States Treasurer. Also with us today are three former treasurers, Babe Buchanan, Francis Neff, and Romana Banuelos. As is the case so often when appointments are made to prominent positions, we're not welcoming a new person on board. Instead, we're congratulating someone already on the team for moving up. Catherine Ortega has been a commissioner on the Copyright Royalty Tribunal and a member of our advisory committee on small and minority business ownership. She's been one of those invaluable individuals who has shaped the character of our administration, always taking her task seriously, getting her job done, and rarely winning public attention. She's a true professional, a hard worker, and a good American. And Catherine, I know your family must be very proud of you today. I certainly am. You proved to all of us that the American dream is alive and well. Catherine is the youngest of nine children and comes from a family whose heritage is the stuff of which novels are made. She comes from sturdy pioneer stock, brave people who tackled the wilderness when it was a wilderness of New Mexico, and she's demonstrated that same pioneer spirit in her own endeavors. After a successful career as a certified public accountant, she became the first woman bank president in California history. She brings to her new job experience and credentials. I was also pleased that when we announced her appointment, she indicated her longtime commitment to Republican principles. In fact, she said she was born a Republican. That's better than me, I'm only a convert. <laughs> I, well, it's important that key positions within an administration be filled by people who reflect the goals and ideals for which the people voted. And this is certainly the case today. As Treasurer of the United States, Catherine will oversee a budget of $340 million and supervise over 5,000 employees. I have faith in her and I'm pleased and honored that she's a part of the team. Being treasurer gives one a certain immortality because it's the treasurer's name which appears on all new paper currency. I can't think of a better name to have in our money than Catherine Ortega. So let's get on to the main event and then I understand we'll get a chance to see her put her signature to good use. I, Catherine Davalos Ortega. I, Catherine Davalos Ortega. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. On which I am about to enter. On about which I am to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary, distinguished guest, the number of messages I have received since my nomination for Treasurer of the United States from people across the country from all walks of life have been an inspiration to me. Among the letters I received was one from an 87-year-old Cuban man with the surname of Ortega. And I would like to share with you a poem he wrote for me and which I have translated. Congratulations, Mrs. Ortega. 
and thanks to Mr. President for appointing you to such an important position. You now have in your life a marvelous road, an excellent opportunity and future. God has extended you his hand with a prestigious position as treasurer of the United States. <laughs> President Reagan, by appointing me as treasurer of this wonderful country of ours, you have provided an inspiration to women and to members of the Hispanic community. Many will take encouragement that yes, it is possible to work and to attain the many opportunities available in our country. And so it is with a deep sense of honor and pride that I shall serve as our country's 38th treasure. And following the Hispanic tradition, I have chosen to have my name appear on our currency as Catherine Davalos Ortega. For in doing so, I will be honoring my father as well as my mother. Thank you. Well, as the three uh, former treasurers of the United States who are here uh, will recognize what uh, Catherine Davalos Ortega is doing, is putting specimens of her signature that will later be translated to those on the actual bills. What she will do if, uh, over the next year is to see that name on about five and a half billion separate notes with a value of about $60 billion. There we go. Now I think uh, Treasury can uh, translate that to the bills.